guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul. I hope to be able to get through a lot of items. I'm almost completely caught up. And that means that something awesome is coming soon to the Dollar Tree. I just have that feeling. Whenever I catch up, something crazy happens and just the floodgates of awesomeness open up at the Dollar Tree and I just can't catch up on my hauls. And I have a feeling it's starting. Um, last night I was watching one of my favorite people to watch who, um, say, she's actually, she just started uh, all these other channels. Um, but one of her channels name is shop with Sammy, but her name is Sammy, but she has unicorn dust designs like as her DIY channel. And that's where I really learned about her from originally. Um, but I saw her haul this like killer, killer, killer palette. You know what? I don't even know if I commented. I like watched the whole video and I was literally so obsessed with finding out the name of that palette that I don't even think I commented on her video. And I, I do that. It's terrible. I watch on my TV a lot of the time and I know some people get like bent out of shape, but I always go back and click like on all the videos that I watched and I do go out of my way to leave comments sometimes, but she found the most amazing palette yesterday and I was like, wow, I didn't even know that existed. It's a green, huge hard candy palette. If you haven't seen her haul, you need to go check her out, shop with Sammy. And I was like, okay, I'm on the hunt, wish list item. And like, that's a mega wish list item. I need to own that. So I'm going to find that. I will be shopping until I drop and find that. But in the meantime, I do have a lot of exciting items to share with you guys. All I'm saying is I just have a feeling that there is like a lot of stuff coming, coming, coming soon because I'm almost caught up and that's what usually happens. Anyway, I'm going to go right into it. I showed these in a walkthrough a while ago and I literally love them. I picked up quite a few because I am sending some little gifts out to a bunch of people. A good friend of mine just bought a house as a housewarming gift. I'm going to send this to her. She actually bought like a log cabin and I've been getting a big box of things together for her, but these are just so adorable. This is so cute for like farmhouse decor at Valentine's Day times. Um, but I just like the word love year round. And I think the home sign is super duper cute. And you can probably take it off of here and do something else with it. Use the letters for something else. You could do whatever you can. Someone's like looking at what I'm holding up. <laughs> well, who knows what he thought it was. Anyhow, I just think that it's really a great buy for a dollar. You could probably literally cut these letters apart and use them for something else. They're huge metal letters. And for a buck, that's awesome. But I like them as is. I absolutely love them. You can zhuzh them up at Christmas time with putting like some red berries in here. That's my idea of a DIY, by the way. Just throw some red berries in there and it's Christmassy and like a little bow. Uh, or you could give it like a little Santa hat. Oh my God, that would be really cute. Put like a little Santa hat here and little red things, and then you could change it out seasonally, which is hat for Halloween, whatever. Those are the kind of things I like to do, but I think it's really cute, and for a dollar, that's actually like a nice piece of decor. It's sort of like done, honestly. It doesn't really need anything else to be done to it. Then I did pick this up as well, because I just think that, that that nail file is so cute, and it does have this, which I like, because it's... um. It's really good for like pushing these, the cuticles back and stuff. And I'm, I'm going to try fake nails. I'm going to try them. They have had so many nice fake nails at the Dollar Tree. And I love, did you guys, do you guys see that that's like blue instead of just silver? I don't know, but it's like a really cute manicure set. I don't usually pick up the sassy and chic ones, but I decided that for a buck, I just really kind of wanted to have this nail file in my purse just in case I need it. Um, and all the rest of this stuff was kind of like a bonus, but the nail clipper is cute for a dollar. The Dollar Tree has had so many amazing fake nails lately that I have decided to try out my luck with them. The last time I did fake nails, they were like nails that you put on the end of your nail and then you put like a powder and then you put like a liquid and then you file and you have to cut them. I mean, we're talking like maybe like 30 years ago. So more like 33 years ago. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know like if it's gotten better. I don't know anything about the fake nail world, 
but I just feel like trying them because they look so fun and it's like such an easy way to do your nails. If I don't know, we're going to try them. I might even do a video of my first time trying on fake nails. I'm going to end up like crazy gluing them to my ear. I could just see tragedy, but I'm going to try it. My Aunt Marina actually sent me, she lives in Connecticut and she is uh, older, um, a lot older than I am, but she loves the Dollar Tree and she knows that I started a YouTube channel and she has, she sent me a package of like some of the Dollar Tree Cricut stuff because she could tell that people were swarmed around it and she was like, oh, my niece is going to want this, whatever it is, because she has a Dollar Tree channel. Meanwhile, I don't have a Cricut, so I'm going to be putting that stuff in a giveaway, but she also sent me these and I actually really wanted them and I never found them. I don't even know if they ever came to New York, but she lives in Connecticut and um, I love, love, literally crazy love this. This is so, so nice. So cute, you guys. And it shows like you could put it on. It's an iron-on, but it's stones. And you could put it on your shirt, a bag. Can you guys see like the um, suggestions there? It's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to put it on to, but I just think it's, it's, it's amazing that you could get something like this for just a dollar. Yeah, and you definitely need an iron. So I think that's great. Um, she did send me this and I love it. I definitely love that. It's so cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or also put it in like my crafty giveaway. I got to figure out like I'm moving and I'm getting rid of a lot of things. So, and she sent me these as well. And these were like major wish list items. So I think Aunt Marina did awesome. I kind of would like to put this on the bottom of my pants, like some boot cut jeans because I, I still love wide leg pants. I don't care if they're ever going to be back in style or not in style or if hippie like looking pants are ever going to be really in. But I love jeans with like bling on them or like patches on them, embroidered jeans. I just love all of that. So I think that would look really cute on a pair of jeans and I might do that. Yeah, I, I love it. That's so cute. And then I do have the heart. So pretty as well. And again, you have to iron them on. I've never tried it. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, I don't know what I'm putting it on yet, but the feather one, I think I'm definitely going to put on some jeans. So that one might happen sooner than later. And then what else? What else? Oh, I found these and I had sworn that I wasn't going to buy more cups because I am so obsessed with these. You guys, my drink is empty, but I absolutely love these cups so much that I swore I was never getting more cups. But then I saw these and I was like, no, you know what? Those are really, really gorgeous. They really are. Life is a beach. Enjoy the waves. So beautiful. I can't help but buy these things for a dollar because honestly, eventually I do throw them in the dishwasher and they do kind of fall apart. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. Like this one, blast from the past right here. But you see this? This goes in my dishwasher every day. Nothing's ever happened to it. Some of them survive the dishwasher and some of them don't. And the ones that survive the dishwasher are my favorites. That's how it works out because I hate hand washing things. Um, hello, sweet summer. Look at that. It's so pretty. And like with red lipstick in the summer, like a red tank top, whatever. It's just so fun and festive. Just so cute. I love it. And then summer vibes. Of course, you guys know that I love this one. This one will be mine. This one will probably be John's and then maybe this one will be Chris's. I don't know, but I got three. I keep, don't keep throwing them because they do separate sometimes when you drop them really hard. I've learned the hard way. If you drop this one really hard, it like separates and then because it's double walled. So that's usually how these go wrong. Beyond that, they're great and they're actually really great. Also, my husband just likes to use these as regular cups because for some reason he swears that they keep drinks colder longer, I guess, because it is double walled. But then I always get upset because he doesn't use this and then they, they're not together. And does anybody else get nuts? Like when anyone in the house uses my reusable cups with lids without the lid, I get psychotic. I like follow them around with the lid and I'm like, you have to take the lid. You have to use the lid. It can't be separated from its lid. And they're like, chillax. And I'm like, 
no, 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 no. It needs to be with its lid at all times. Like I always keep them with their lids. I don't know. It's like a crazy OCD of thing of mine, but I do. I get really upset when I see them using them without their lids. Does anyone else do that? Or is that really just a me thing? It so moving right into the next item I picked up, I picked up some books, but I definitely absolutely love this book. Like this book is such a great deal. It's called Paper Cutting, 20 Projects for Friends to Make Super Super. And um, it says 20 quirky projects and all the technical know-how you need to get started. This super super guide will have you snipping away and filling your world with color and fun. And it is really like so cute because I think that this is really great for kids. Look at like this jar right here. They made like a little boat diorama out of paper cutting inside of a jar and it's just so delightful. So let's fa find something in here. Oh look, a Russian doll made out of paper cutting. Like this is a great book for people who do their own gift cards or pocket letters or just, oh, look at how so cute that is. So cute. Summer crafting with the kiddos. I just love it. I think it's a brilliant idea. And I'm going to give this to my nieces. I'm going to put it in their big bag of extras. I did make them those really cool cups full of stuff, but I've filled the bag subsequently, even since then full of items. I just think that this is going to bring them so much, so much fun. Like easy. It's kind of easy because you don't have to draw. You just, you know what? Even if they start using their imagination and it doesn't come out perfectly, who cares? It's a good, it's, it's good to like, let your creativity flow like that. And then this was a wish list item and I did pick it up quite a while ago. It's the Valerie Bertinelli one dish at a time book. And, you know, she was on the TV show One Day at a Time. And uh, it says, delicious recipes and stories from my Italian-American childhood and beyond. And, I mean, Valerie Bertinelli is, like, gorgeous at her age. So I'd like to know what she's eating. She, like, has very publicly, like, lost a lot of weight on, was it Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or one of those things? And um, she has, like, it says wasabi and ginger add the uh, sesame cilantro so I guess these are all kinds of like dips that she makes oh no I'm sorry those are the ways that she seasons her deviled eggs she makes them with pickles and capers or wasabi and ginger that sounds crazy good actually and and her third flavoring is sesame cilantro and she grates carrot into that mm. so there's just all there's not pictures of that one but are there pictures of it does have pictures in it nothing like jumping out at me right now but let's go I mean I just have a feeling that this book is going to be packed with like practical good food real food that you could maybe diet with obviously not a lot of carbs um, there's not tons of pictures, but there are some pictures of her at home. I don't know. I just really like her. And I was really happy when I found this book. I was, I found it a while ago and I was thrilled. And this one is called Pasta a la Van Goli. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Don't even know, but you know, I gave it a shot and, uh, or maybe it's Van Gole. Um, yeah, I just, I like, I really, and this is greens with polenta croutons. It's a whole lot of work to make polenta just to make croutons out of it. Oh, she's such a pretty woman. I just think I'm going to be really inspired by some of the stuff in here. So I'm definitely going to take a look at it and maybe pass it on. I love to pass books on after I'm done with them, but I reap the rewards of, you know, getting some information out of them. So this was definitely a wish list item. And how much it was this book originally? Let's check that out. I'm like pulling it apart already. Um, it was, it was 30 bucks originally. So, I mean, you know what? For a dollar, getting a $30 book, you guys, you can't go wrong with that. For a dollar, a $30 book, it's, a, it's, it's like, it's like I always say to me, it's a source of entertainment for a buck. Like you can't go wrong.
Another book that I found that I was so excited to find was this book. When I saw it, I was like, wow, this is an expensive book. I've been sitting on it for a while because sometimes I just skip the books because I just have too much stuff to share with you guys. And I know sometimes some people hate makeup and some people hate books. Um, so I kind of love makeup and I love books. And the truth is, like I was joking with Pamela. I was like, if the Dollar Tree just had books, snacks, and makeup, it would be fine. And she, like, she was, she was actually saying the Dollar Tree could get rid of everything, but as long as it had snacks and we were like naming all the things that we wanted in the Dollar Tree. And basically we agreed on it. Um, we were like, yeah, if, if it could just be two, if it could be one, it would be makeup. If it was only one, if it could be two, it would be books and makeup. And then if it could be three, it would be books, makeup, and snacks. Because there's nothing more exciting than when you like find a name brand snack that you pay like three or $5 for at the store and you could get it for a buck at the Dollar Tree and save yourself a ton of money than buying it at the regular store. I love that. And then when you find a book that you didn't even know you wanted, but you're like, wow, you know what? This book is going to make my life, the quality of my life, just a little better for a dollar. And then when you find brand name makeup and face stuff and toiletries and things like that, that's like the wild factor of the Dollar Tree. Like when you find those things, first of all, they make great gifts. They're just great for any reason. People could use them. You can give them to lots and lots of people and they'll enrich their lives. So yeah, there's just certain things that I just love the Dollar Tree for. And one of them is honestly books. I really love getting, like this book was a $35 book. Would I ever pay $35 for this at the bookstore? No, but for a dollar, I'm so excited to look at these recipes and the name. So that, that's my whole spiel. So this is called Palomar Cook, the, the Palomar Cookbook, Modern Israeli Cuisine. And first of all, the cover is just so really beautiful. It's just beautiful. Now let's see when you open the dust cover, it's different, but again, it's a hardcover book. I don't know if it has pictures in it. I don't remember. It does. And it has all sorts of gorgeous Israeli high end, like gourmet recipes. And so, that's why it's like modern. So here's a picture of something that looks delicious. I want to just bite into it. Oh my God. It's called eggplant and feta burekas. Mm. It's almost like something Greek, but it's Israeli. That looks really good. I would, I would never have even known that that was eggplant. That's, that's just beautiful. Then what else do they have? Look at this. Poppy's spinach gnocchi. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous that food looks. I love like gourmet chef kind of stuff. I'm not saying, okay, so this is like octopus. The boys would not eat that. Oh no, my son actually, my son actually loves octopus. I forgot that. My husband would damn near die. That's all I'm going to say. If I, if I busted that out in the kitchen, <laughs> I can't, I can't even imagine if I took, nah, mm -mm. if I took that out in the kitchen and started chopping away, he would like die. He, he would literally, no, he would call up his mom. Mom, you're not going to believe what my wife is trying to make for dinner. He always said, cause he's like such an all American boy. I mean, his background is Polish, but I'm Greek and Greek people eat like all kinds of crazy stuff. But, um, he, he grew up like very American and they're like chicken fingers, burgers kind of people. And he, sometimes he'll, he'll be like, you wouldn't believe what they're trying to eat at this family party. Like he just, it's not, he just is not one of those adventurous eaters. Not at all, but I could just see him. Yeah. Tentacles. No. And then what is this gorgeous strawberry? Look at how just beautiful the cinematography is. So I'll see if I can, even though it's a hard cover, let me see if I could just thumb through some of the pretty beautiful pictures of food. I just love a cookbook that has like gorgeous food pictures. It makes you want to try it. Yeah, so gorgeous. So, and honestly, it's just a beautiful, stunning, exciting book. Really and truly. 
yeah, I'm so happy I found this. I'm probably going to, um, also, I know it's cheesy, but I love it. I love it when books have the ribbon in them. <laughs> and I just, I love that this one has it in it too. I think it makes it just so nice. It keeps the recipe for you if you're going to do that one next. And I'm probably going to go through this cookbook and really look at all the recipes and then have my husband take a look, see if he's interested in anything. And then maybe I'll give it to my mother-in-law if she's interested. If not, I'll pass it on to someone else. Then I picked up this book. It's called The Perfect Blend, Gluten-Free and Vegan, 100 Blender Recipes to Energize and Revitalize. And I do have a vegan friend that will very much enjoy this book. And it has really beautiful, like, she is like a juicer and vegan. And I know, I know, I know, I know she's going to love this book. She is totally going to love it. Absolutely. 100%. And I picked it up for her in mind, actually just, and it has like really gorgeous, like gourmet looking stuff. I know she's been trying more and more home cooking, um, roasted veggies with lemon tarragon trickle. See, those look delightful. I would so make that I actually love tarragon. Does anybody else like wonder why tarragon doesn't get enough accolade? Because I do. Like, I feel like tarragon is not used enough in life. And those are vegan burgers. Yeah, she's going to love this book. Love it. Love, love, love that. For a dollar, how can you not? When you have a friend that's a vegan, how can you not get them a vegan cookbook at the Dollar Tree? I love when I find vegan cookbooks at the Dollar Tree. Uh, the next item that I picked up is this beach ball. My son is graduating the eighth grade this year. These are originally from Party City, and this was definitely, definitely, definitely more than a dollar. Wow, I can't even believe this. It even has a repair patch in here. How crazy is that? Christopher is getting his second vaccine on Saturday, so by the time graduation comes around, I'll probably do like a little pool party for some of his friends that he's graduating with, and I just think it'll be fun for them to all sign that. Even after it like is deflated and stuff, what it is is um, a beach ball that you autograph. I think I forgot to even tell you guys what it was because I did in my walkthrough. And it like, see, it says we're so proud of you, mom and dad. But I just think it's really fun. It's huge. It's a 20, 20 inch beach ball. It's a huge beach ball. It comes with the uh, marker. Uh, actually, it doesn't. Huh. Wow, it comes with a patch, but it doesn't come with a marker. I feel like it did come with the marker and I lost it. No, it didn't. So you got to get a water. Oh, you got to get a permanent marker for this, obviously, because if it goes in the water, it's going to come off. So I'm going to get a Sharpie and they can sign all over it. And even when it deflates, he'll probably just save it as a memento. And it's, you know, it's exciting. He's graduating the eighth grade. He's going to do in-person graduation. I'm so excited for him. He has seen some of his friends lately, um, but not in school. He's not back in school. He's finishing the year remotely, uh, which has been so hard to deal with. And I did pick this up also for the backyard party. I figured they could all take pictures in the backyard, you know, at the little get. It's just going to be like a little pool day for them, but I still think it'll be fun for them to have that ball in the pool. And this says, finally, we made it. I'll probably cook them up some burgers. I mean, they're just boys. They'll be happy with hot dogs and burgers. And, you know, I'll tell their moms to send them with their caps and they can take like silly pool graduation pictures. I think it'll be fun. And then this I can hang up and they can do it also. But what it is, is it's a backdrop and it says, finally, we made it. And then you can write whatever you want. It doesn't say we made it. It just says finally, but then you can write whatever you want there. So they can call themselves like the boys, the crew, you know, goodbye, eighth grade, whatever they feel like doing. And it's over six feet high. I just think that this is an awesome, awesome buy for a dollar. And I just feel so lucky that the Dollar Tree got inundated with graduation stuff this of all years because my son is graduating this year. Oh, of course, my earring fell out. These are the things that just happen to me like out of nowhere. Okay. So yeah, I just think it's incredible, really incredible buy. And it is also by Amscan. So again, this was originally from Party City. So you see how like, it's like, it has those streamers that come down 
it's just so cool. You could even probably use those streamers for like 4th of July as well, depending on if you, if you're left with them after graduation, you could use those star streamer parts for 4th of July for like another use. Cause I mean, you know, how much can you use graduation stuff? Even though it's only a dollar, I like to find another thing to do with them and then they'll probably be good and used up by then. The other day I shared with you guys the bags, the gift bags that I bought for my father-in-law and my husband. And I do think I showed these in a walkthrough. I feel like I did, or maybe I met, I think I did show them in a walkthrough, but there's four different kinds. I only picked up two of them. Um, this one says dad's fishing rules, bait your own hook, clean your own fish, tell your own fish stories. Uh, this is perfect for my husband. He is an avid fisherman and he's going to love this sign and he's getting his, his back procedure soon. So he'll be back to fishing shortly. And I got this for my father-in-law cause he loves doing construction and woodworking and stuff like that. And it says dad's workshop, my tools, my rules. I love these signs. They're huge. You guys look at the size of my head. Like this is a big sign. Usually their signs are like that big. I remember the ones from a couple years ago were like significantly smaller, but these are like really nice to like stick up in your garage or in their little man cave for a buck. Really cute. I really, and they even have the little like holes in them to like literally just nail them into a wall in a garage or something. So that's a great buy for a dollar. And I did find these awesome happy planner uh, sticker collections. And I did buy them probably for maybe future giveaways. I don't do happy planners, but I could tell when something is a good buy. And I decided to pick them up because maybe I will collect things like this to keep in a planner giveaway. Because I know that from time to time, the Dollar Tree does get stuff like this. So this is 1,078 pieces, the Happy Planner, and it's watercolor. Um, and these are like me and my big idea sticker sheets. So it's just like all kinds of different thoughts designed to fit classic size planner. It says, I'll just show you because the other one is kind of straightforward. It just like is like seasonal. This is like like really like what is the plan what are you doing now like really like planner oriented kind of stickers um today can be great get to work you can do it so cool you got it the best is yet to come every day is a gift you guys see that like yeah so i think that this is great for someone who really really loves to use their planner note to self today like just some people are really on top of this and love these things. Love laughter and smiles. I know, I know that this will be like, and it, they're really nice quality, actually. They're like vinyl. They're pretty, they're really cool. These are beautiful. This one says life is lovely. I would just put that on my mug or like one of these kind of cups. That's what I would do. Go the extra mile. It's very, it's, it's never crowded. Oh, go the extra mile. It's never crowded. And that's so nice. Life, life is tough, but so are you. Yeah. So that cheers to the weekend. I'm like having trouble reading the script because I'm so blind. Your heart knows the way success is, is not for the lazy. That's so cool. So I could see someone really enjoying. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of really nice stickers in here. Today sounds better than someday. Yes, 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 sir. That's true. Okay, so you know what? I love the stickers in here, actually. I could see doing DIYs with them, little, little, little um tear tray, little pieces of wood, and yeah, I could see using them and decoupaging them. I'm not going to do that, but I could see doing that. This one, it just really is jam-packed full of seasonal stickers which I kind of love, but so that one's inspirational and this one's seasonal. It has super cute Christmas themed ones. I don't want to break the spine of it. That's why I'm trying not to bend it, but they're just, wow, that is so cute. It says visit Santa. Look at how cute that is. And then it has Halloween fall ones and what else? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Look, 
just so cute. I guess that's spring and look, it's like valentines -y. Yeah, these are wonderful. Really, and summer, so cute, you guys. Oh, and I landed on a flamingo. Look at that. That's perfect. Those are really cute. I could even see, honestly, even for a dollar, pick it up for kids. There's 1,557 stickers in here and 1,078 stickers in here. That is an insane buy for a buck, you guys. You cannot go wrong. Kids will love these too. So yeah, I picked those up to potentially collect for a giveaway. I'm not sure when that will be, but that is like a iffy, if the Dollar Tree gets more planning stuff like that, I will definitely start to collect it and give it out because I know people love it. I am not a planner. I do not have a good schedule kind of control over myself. So that's not my thing. But um, I did pick this sign up and this is my thing. I love this so much. The background color, I like it as is. It says hello, it's wood. This is super cute, you guys. I really think that this is gorgeous. They did have other ones. I did share those in my walkthrough, but I couldn't help picking this up even though I'm moving. I just think it's so nice. I, I don't know, I love it. I had, to, I had to pick it up, it's beautiful. So I can't help myself. I'm trying not to buy things, but you can't help yourself when you're at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up more of these for a friend. Uh, these are the coconut ones. This is the coconut infused exfoliating bath pad, the coconut infused exfoliating bath mitt, and the coconut infused exfoliating bath cloth. I picked them all up. Um, I know that they're highly scented because I have them, but you can't smell it through the wrapper. And once you open it, it does last for quite a nice time in the shower. So these are a good buy. I like them a lot. I really love the coconut. I, I just didn't love the infused bath cloth. I think it's the smartest thing ever invented. I literally love scrubbing my back with it in the shower. It's awesome. I did find this at the Dollar Tree and, and I thought it was really interesting. It's called Quick Survive and it says that it's like a survival item. It's charcoal barbecue grill, fireplace, fire pit, wood burning, and survival, fire starters, light any fire fast, 30 year shelf life, 100% waterproof, food safe, burns up to 10 minutes at over 750 degrees, three fire starter pouches. So that's what they are. And it's really kind of amazing that I, that this is at the Dollar Tree. I know this has to be a lot more in the world than it is at the Dollar Tree. So I'm sure that people are scooping these up and they're probably gone, but uh, yeah, in my area at least. But if you need something like this, I mean, it says for survival, like in the wilderness or for a burning stove, but I could just see preppers scooping these up by the droves because that seems like a great buy for a buck, you guys, for sure. And it's from a company called www.quicksurvive.world. So that right there tells me that. These sell for a lot more than a dollar somewhere out there in the world. I then picked this up. I picked up a couple of these because I think that they're brilliant for beard trimming cape and you suction cup it to the mirror or to the, the wall and then the trimmings go like in the cape because I think that that's just so smart for um, when men are grooming themselves. They do need all the help they can get in that bathroom. So... I'm happy to give them the assistance that they so need to not make a huge mess in my bathroom. And I bought one also for my father-in-law because I think it's a cool thing to have. I did pick up some more of these um, protective hand glove kind of like outdoor, but they like make sure you don't, so they have like this thing here. So, you know, like thorns and stuff from the debris outside won't, or splinters won't go into your hands. And that's perfect because we've been doing a lot of like cleaning out the yard and getting it ready for summer and we need more of these and my husband will never put these on, but my son will. So, and he's been helping me get the house backyard ready a lot. So I picked up a few more of those. They're always good to have on hand. I, I sometimes forget to use gloves too, although I really shouldn't. 
I did pick up this pack of 60 sheet sticky notes. I think it's so cute. And um, I do use sticky notes for giveaways and stuff like that. Because I, I have to write out people's names. I actually picked up several of these. I think they're so pretty. I really love them. So yeah, you might be seeing this in one of my giveaways. Isn't that really beautiful? I love them. I love, love, love that. It's so pretty. Really a cute post-it. Like I wish I could do something else with that. It's just that gorgeous. <laughs> love it. I think I showed these a while ago in a walkthrough, but they finally have um, gotten themselves finally into my haul because I'm creeping up towards getting somewhere and being done with my backlog. But uh, these are so nice. I actually thought that I had hauled them and I was looking for this today to wear it, but I didn't have it. So I put this one in that I got from Shein because it's raining again and I just don't even want my hair touching my face when it's raining. It makes me itchy. But these are so pretty. They are by Sincerely Jewels and they're really well made. Like that's the thing about them. Their claw clips are crazy well made. They're not coming unglued. They're velvet covered really pretty. This one is gold. This one is green. And obviously this one is pink, but they're just beautiful fabric with the lovely alligator clips. And I just think that they're just very nice quality for a dollar. And I like to use clips like that all the time, like in my bathroom or when I'm home, I like to keep my hair up sometimes. I did pick up um, another set of these measuring cups because somehow I just always manage to lose mine. And they're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they're just perfect to have on hand. Or sometimes I like to put the one cup one in the flour and in the oatmeal and in the jar so I don't have to go and look for it. It's just always there. And I, do you guys do that? Like, I have the scooper inside the big jar or canister. So that's probably why I can't find anything because I've probably put all my one cup ones in different canisters that I have. And... So I picked up another one because I think that's really convenient when you have the one cup one just inside the canister already. So for a dollar, I don't know. Do you guys pick these up often? I think that this is one of the greatest things that the Dollar Tree sells, honestly, for a dollar. Just, just an unbelievable value. So convenient to get it all at once and just have it on hand. I did pick up several of these. Do you guys see these? They're crazy beautiful. I don't know what the deal is. I've only seen them in that one Dollar Tree that I was in the other day in Hicksville and I picked up several of them because they are so beautiful. I can't handle it. I love things that are colored like that iridescent and they're called Golden Snake. It says wristlet Golden Snake Greenbrier and I'm obsessed. I love them. I like I, I think I picked up six altogether. I love them. Love those. 100 percent love them. I have had this actually for a while, but I have not hold it yet. Now I did share the other color and it is very similar, but it is not the same. This is called Crystal Topaz, and uh it's so similar to the other one, but they're slightly different. So I'm going to share with you guys what this one looks like. It's very beautiful. It's by Hard Candy. It is a crystal lip duo. And actually, I can't believe that I haven't shared it sooner. I wish I could get it open right now. That would be great. Um, yeah, it's very, very nicely sealed. And you know what's so sad? The other day, because we didn't find a ton of these, I think... Um, we didn't find a ton of them. And the other day when I was shopping with Pamela in the store, we bumped into a store that had gotten these and there were just a few stragglers left and they had all been vandalized. They'd all been opened and infiltrated. And look at how hard that was for me to open. How people do that, I don't know. So it, dri it drives me crazy. So there it is, the scan code if you need it. Crystal Topaz. So, so stunningly, gorgeously nice. It just looks really pretty, and I love that packaging. Um, so this is where I always screw it up. Okay, I'll do it like that. Very good. So, oh, it's so, oh, my God, it matches my shirt so nicely today. So that's the color that it is. Yeah, I should have been wearing that today, but I never hold it, so I, I didn't have it on hand. And then the other side is glitter, 
And so that's the color that's like the lip base. And then you put the glitter over it. And it's, oh my God, it's beautiful. I love it. Mm. And it has a beautiful flavor too, actually. And again, it's called Crystal Topaz, number 19, number 1696. It's crazy pretty. Crazy pretty. I really like it. It's a very lovely purchase for a dollar. Unbelievable deal for a dollar, you guys. Unbelievable. So the next unbelievable deal that I want to share with you guys is this hard candy glamouflage full coverage foundation, full size. It's 0.67 fluid ounces in a glass bottle for a buck. This stuff is great. I mean, I actually cannot believe how lucky I am that it's my skin tone. I'm so excited. So I'm going to share that. Oh, I love it so much. What? It's called natural number 1507. Right there if you need the scan code. And that is it right there. And that is going to be, that's my skin color. I never get that kind of lucky. I can't believe how fortunate I am to have been able to pick up a few of these full size, oil free, 16 hour wear, full coverage foundation by Hard Candy for a dollar, you guys. So I don't know. I haven't seen it yet in other colors. It wasn't in the store in other colors, but. I'm going to be all over that. That is a score, a score, a score, a score. Not as big. Of, no, I, I don't want to say that. I, I was going to say not as big as a score as that awesome green palette that Sammy found the other day that I'm like obsessed with. I just want to finish my haul and go find it. But that's not true. This is awesome. No, that's a better score. I do love foundation though, but I love green. I'm, I'm green with envy over her palette. I must find it. Um, we, we are all green with envy over that palette. That is salivation material in my world. I love eyeshadow palettes. I get so happy when I see those at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up some more of these. I picked up five the other day, but then I realized that the ones that I had before, I don't have five of still. So I need to have 10 at all times. And I'm going to make like a little bag of nail stuff because if I'm going to try these fake nails out, I need to know that I'll be able to take them off because... They might drive me crazy. So I need that to soak them off. And I did pick up these. They're so pretty, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard great things about the sassy and chic nails. And you do have to get two packs of everything in order to get them sized right. And I love these. Do you guys see how cute those are? They're so cute. And these are just crazy adorable. I couldn't help myself. And I have bought like all of the other edge nails. Uh, they're called fingers actually I kept calling them flings because I'm blind but they're f-i-n-g-r apostrophe s with those crazy colors I bought like all I don't know they're just fun for a dollar I just want to try them all and I did buy a bunch of kiss nails recently so yeah I'm gonna try them we're just gonna see what happens I don't know how I feel about this but I'm gonna try them I did pick up several yard Yardly, Yardly. I have such a hard time saying Yardly. I keep saying Yardly. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's not correct. It's Yardly of England, London, a moisturizing bath bar, oatmeal and almond, English lavender, and uh, strawberry coconut. Okay, so like for real, this one is crazy delicious smelling. So I have been using this in my bathroom and I'm making the boys like wash their hands with it because I like the smell of it like permeating my house. It just makes me happy. And I picked up these because I did get quite a few of these lotions that I did share in my other haul. And I just feel like obviously it's a no brainer and I, some scrubbies and you have like an instant little gift, like just take this, put it in a cellophane bag and put a scrubby in there and maybe even a toothbrush and you have like a really cute gift for like anybody yard yardly is a brand name i actually love these i am sorry to say that sammy did not like the smell of the lavender and she said it smells like old lady medicine and i was like thanks a lot sammy i do love it though 
I, I think it smells amazing. I, I don't, I, that's because I'm an old lady, but that's all right. I'm not offended, Sammy. Don't worry. Um, and uh, I do actually love the smell of this lavender. It is kind of old ladyish, but in like a familiar, happy old lady way. And this one is a lot not old ladyish, but I love them both. I do. I don't know what it is, but it just reminds me of like old school soap because this is old school. So I love it. And I just think that that's so cute with like a natural colored loofah or like something more natural looking and maybe one of those like bamboo toothbrushes that they sell. You can make such a really cute, like wholesome looking basket that looks high end. And oh, and I do have the crab tree in Evelyn too, but I don't have it here. That's coming up. So keep your eyes open for the next haul there. I thought I, oh, you know what? I am backed up still. I thought I had caught up. I forgot I have stuff somewhere. Oh my gosh. Not a lot. I think I am almost caught up anyway. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. I had like basically written off all the Dollar Tree candles and then the Dollar Tree goes and does this to me. I couldn't resist them anymore. I saw them and I was like, no, I'm not buying you. And then I saw them again and I was like, I'm not even showing you to anybody. I'm not buying you. And then I saw them again and I was like, okay, I'll show you guys to other people. Why should I be so judgmental against pretty candles? And then I decided to just bring this one candle home with me because I was like, well, they don't really have great throw, but I'm going to gift it because it's so cute. And my specific friend that I'm giving a gift to loves purple and loves boho. And I think this would be cute for her. And then I burned it because I was curious and I really wanted it for myself. And here it is, a confession of a Dollar Tree addict. I was like, I need to know. I need to know if it's bad, really bad. And honestly, the throw is not amazing, but I burned it in my bathtub, in, in my bathtub. I burned it in my bathroom while I was in the tub taking a bath. And what I will say for sure is that in my tiny little bathroom, I could smell it and it smelled really nice. And when I blew it out, it smelled even more amazing. But here's the crazy thing because of the way that it's made where it's like, you guys see how it, the, see, I really did burn it. I'm not lying to you guys. Because of this coating over the glass, it burns really beautifully. So it's really beautiful to watch it burn. It looks so gorgeous behind these things. And it did have some throw. And frankly, I couldn't help myself. So because it did actually have a little bit of throw, I did buy them all, you guys. I, I couldn't help myself. I just... It's, it's sick, but I'm going to use them. I do have dogs. I burn candles all the time. I don't like my house to smell and they all smell so good. They trust me. I wish that their throw was as gorgeous as they look in packaging. It's not as gorgeous, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst candle I've ever gotten from the Dollar Tree. Um, the white amber, it smells so good. You guys like Ugh, if it smells even a little bit like that in my bathroom, I will be happy. It's so gorgeous, but the packaging is just so, so nice. I can't, it looks high end. It really does. And the Prosecco and Rose ugh, smells so good too. They all smell really, really, really good, really good. And they close really nice and tight. They're just so nice. I wish that I could take, I honestly wish that it said the scent of the candle underneath and the candle didn't have anything on it because then like I kind of just love the idea of burning these up and then using them to put things in like small clips or whatever because they close so well do you guys see how hard like they close for real like listen like I have to like literally pressure it oh now it won't close I don't know why they're, these candles want to make me a liar. I said I wasn't going to buy them. Then I did. Now I see that. Did you hear that? They snap shut. So, I mean, that's like really shut for real. I don't know, but they do have that. So, but you could always put something over it even, and then maybe put stuff in that and like label them. I don't know. I really am thinking about just burning them up and then taking all the residue wax out and doing something else with them because they do, they, did you hear it? Like they, they really, 
actually this one doesn't close like that one of them doesn't so maybe they're not all like that but they're just so nice I couldn't resist that's the bottom line midnight jasmine is the one that I burned so it smells to die for I, I don't know what more to say I really enjoyed it uh the white amber amazing the wood sage and sea salt it smells so so good and oh I mixed up the lids oh maybe that's why they're not oh whoopsie wait a minute I mixed them up that's how could they know they're all the same size now it's stuck I put the wrong lid on the wrong jar how did it know okay so obviously the blue tassel goes with the blue one no, they still are closing really tight, but the wood sage and sea salt is possibly my favorite scent. And I think I'm going to leave this in my bathroom forever or until I move. I just, it's gorgeous. I really love that one. It's so beautiful. And yeah, so that's all of them. I did buy them. I could not help myself, you guys. I just could not resist them. I tried as I might. I couldn't do it. So if you're like me, let me know. Let me know if you walked past these several times before you broke down and bought them. Let me know because I'm letting you know when you burn them, they're not that bad. They're not amazing. They're not. But if you have a tiny little bathroom, you'll get some use out of them. They are pleasant. You can smell something. It's not the worst dollar you've ever spent. It just isn't because I have bought lots of candles at the Dollar Tree that are just like absolutely have no scent, even though in the package they smell killer. Um, the next item that I picked up is 751 finishing powder, oiled control finishing powder by hard candy. And that looks really good. Let's, I'm a little shiny, right? I'm always shiny, but, um, did I really, did you guys get a good look at it? Cause it has like really pretty iridescent like packaging. I don't know. Okay. So let's open this up. I haven't tried this yet, actually. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's good. And it's actually got a long date of, like after you open it, it's good for two years, which I kind of like. A lot of the stuff says 12 months, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but mascara, mascara has short lifespan. So you have to use a kabuki brush with it, but it looks, it has a nice texture. And I, I'm sure that it's going to be nice. I can see that it has a really nice texture. But I love I love finishing powder when it's hot out um, or it starts to get... Because it's nice to just give yourself a little bit of powder to absorb any like sweat, glistening, oiliness that might appear on your brow or your cheeks or anywhere else. It's always good to have stuff like this in the summer. And it says a weightless translucent finishing powder that provides an invisible way to set and extend makeup wear. Apply with brush or sponge over makeup to set look and control oil. So for a dollar, that's a score, you guys. Summer is coming. You always need stuff like that in the summer. I did pick up some of these LA Colors lip liners. I know that not everybody gets brand name makeup, so I like to always try to include items that are not brand name that the Dollar Tree carries in abundance and tell you guys my honest thoughts on these. And I have to say that uh, this, it's perfect. I bought a couple of them. Is It's very pink. See the color that it is there? That is actually the color that it is. But this lip liner right here, so if you're looking for, it's because this is part of their nudes collection, but it's more of a pink. So if you're looking for more of a pinkish toned lip liner, you might like this one. But this one, bear with me, uh, with the twist up pencil, I highly recommend the color. I'm going to show it to you guys again. There it is. I'm going to open this one up too. I already have one in my bathroom that I've been using. I'm um, trying to remember. I think I actually used it today. It could be used in several. Um, so I love these retractable pencils, plain and simple. And the consistency is great. But yeah, I think this is the one actually that I used today. So look, with that hard candy um, lipstick, it would blend really well. I put it there and I put it up there. That's actually um, 
Oh my gosh, that's the foundation. I'm losing my mind, you guys. But this lip liner is beautiful. It's equivalent to the ones that I love by Wet n' Wild. So if your stores don't have those, you guys, this is a great buy for a buck. Retractable lip liners that are made like this with this soft, it runs, it, it's just smooth and you will do beautiful lip. Like you can literally just put chapstick on your lips and line your lips just with this item. It glides on. You can do your whole lip if you, let's say you have an emergency and you just have this in your car, you just put on some chapstick and you could do your whole lip with it. That's how smooth this works. It's such a lovely item that for a dollar, if you don't find the brand name stuff, don't completely dismiss LA Colors. They do have some really great items. Uh, depending on the color, I think that the texture of this retractable lip lining pencil is wonderful. Even this one, I just, I don't want to open another one because the color for me, it's just a little too light. I don't love super light lipsticks, but if you're needing like a pinkish light lipstick or like a very pink nude like lip liner, this is your, you're going to love it. I just don't want a second one of it. And I absolutely love that bear with me. That's it right there. And I love it. I just, I do have a couple more exciting items to share with you guys. I absolutely love Electric Blue Mascara, but I have not tried this one yet, but I do love blue mascara. So this one, number 822, Ultra Plush Brush um, Electric Blue, Flawless Definition. There is the scan code if you need it. I'm going to open this up and we're going to test it out. Let's see how it works. So I love the packaging already. It's hard candy. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I mean, seriously. And it says ginormous, which I love the word ginormous, ginormous. Let's see how ginormous it really is. Okay. I like that sound. It's promising. I'm going to put some mascara on and see if you guys can see it or if it makes a noticeable difference. I really like the brush, but I think that my mascara dried on so clumpy that I can't really um, tell if it's a good product yet or not, but I definitely like the color and the brush. And I've actually realized that I have to start wearing, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh, but I have to start wearing um, eyelash primer more often. That really helps in getting your mascara on nicely and separating all of your eyelashes which I keep forgetting to do, but um, my friend Gretchen was like all in about it. And then I did Google it and it does make a lot of sense because when I do wear the primer, my eyelashes really don't clump together. So they're so clumped together right now by that Renegade mascara that this isn't really getting its true justice, but I love the color and the brush is very, very nice. It's a real, I love brushes like this. This is like my favorite type of brush. So I don't know. I have a feeling I'm going to like this mascara, but we shall test that out again on another day. And last item of this haul, you guys, this, so this for me was a relatively small haul. I wanted to share this. Um, I have tried the nude, the nude, and I have it at home. I bought several of these because I wanted to give them to some friends of mine to try out and let me know what they thought as well. But I tried out the nude press powder and it does come with a puff applicator on the back. And um, you know what? When I go home, I'm going to swatch it. I'm not going to open this one because I did find so many other brand name hard candy powders that I, I haven't even shared those yet. I forgot about that bag too. Okay. I might not be as ahead of the game as I thought I was, but I am getting there. Um, but you guys, this isn't bad at all. This product also is a really nice product. It's very smooth. It didn't break out my skin. I wore it three days in a row and actually it made my skin look really smooth, which I liked. I wore it over my foundation and I put primer and foundation and I put this on when I was done, kind of like a finishing powder. Um, the only thing is that I don't like the pressed little, it has like one of those little white sponges inside. I use a kabuki brush. And I loved, I loved how it looked actually on my skin. So a nude is like the perfect color for me. I really like it. Actually, it's very lightweight 
And it's a very small, thin little compact that does in fact have a mirror. So that's really good for on the go, for in your car, if you wanna just touch yourself up a little bit and not waste money on something more expensive to, that'll get ruined in the car. I like to have car makeup. So I did wanna say that if you're on a budget and you haven't found any of these other awesome brand name products, give this a try. You will not be disappointed. This specific color was great for me. They do have another color called beige, which is a little more like, I wanna say, see, it's like a little pinker. And then they do have tan. I have not seen darker than that yet, but I'm assuming that there is a fourth one. I keep looking for a darker one. It might have all been bought out. I don't know. Let me know if you've seen darker than tan because there should be at least one darker shade and I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it anywhere. Tan is not that dark. Like there are many shades darker than this in the world. So I don't know what that's about, but I'm positive there has to be one more. So far, I like the nude. And um, I really wanted to share that with you guys in case you haven't found something that's better and you're on a budget and you really want to find something because you need it. So that's all I have today. I do have so many more items, actually, but I still am almost caught up. I'm kind of impressed with myself that I'm getting there. That's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I do have um, I did draw the winner of my giveaway for the Flower Beauty, I do have an upcoming announcement for another giveaway coming up. And Lemon Beauty did Lemon, I have not yet called out a winner for the Lemon giveaway, but that, you don't sign up for that in this video. You only sign up for that in the video that it was in. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go back and watch my videos because it's a huge ensemble of lemon stuff from the Dollar Tree that you will not be sad to have, that's for sure there's still a chance that you might win that giveaway, you guys. So go on ahead and watch that video and get in on that giveaway. I have not yet announced the winner of that one. And at 2,500, I'm going to be doing a huge other giveaway for my subscribers that is face product related. And I'm pretty sure anybody will want that. It's all kinds of awesome brand name face masks and face products from the Dollar Tree that I love, that I've tried, that I think are great. And it's a lot of stuff I've collected for the last year and then some. So you guys won't be disappointed. That's it, guys. That's all I have. Thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And share my video if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to click like and even subscribe to the channel if you would like to become a permanent member of the Confessions of a Dollar Tree family. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.